I honestly kind of feel used from this whole thing. Former employees of a Winnipeg cannabis store are speaking out, saying they were mistreated, regularly unpaid, and taken advantage of by the business's CEO. Hi, I'm Josh Giesbrecht. The allegations are against Josh Giesbrecht, CEO of Uncle Sam's Manitoba Limited. The entrepreneur marketed his three locations of Uncle Sam's cannabis with a focus on Indigenous empowerment, but these former employees claim they were underpaid and experienced cultural misappropriation and insensitivity. I'm, I'm still recovering from it. Nicole Bester, a well-established bead worker and business owner, worked at Uncle Sam's for about six months. Giesbrecht sold her work in his stores, an arrangement that started out positively, but soon soon turned sour. She says Giesbrecht manipulated and used her talents to make it appear the business was supporting the Indigenous community, causing her lasting pain and harm. Well, it hurts. It hurts a lot. I've worked so hard on my business. I'm a young entrepreneur. I'm only, I'll only be 21 this year. You know, it kind of hurt. Uh, I looked up to Josh for a while there, and I thought he might be able to help me and help Mamango succeed, and he really just used me, and it's, it's awful. You don't use your people. Bester says she was never fairly compensated for her work being used in promotional materials for the store, nor did she see a share of the profit from the sales of her works. And Bester is not alone. Before we were actually really close friends, like I considered him to almost be like a brother to me. Uh, now we literally don't talk whatsoever. Bester's partner Kenzie Wilson also worked at Uncle Sam's for roughly eight months. Originally close friends with Giesbrecht, she says she still owed for hundreds of hours worth of work. As a manager, the 24-year-old was constantly working working overtime and was compensated in the form of $500 e-transfers instead of her full-time salary for several months. Wilson claims she's owed upwards of $20,000. My, my days weren't eight-hour days, they were like 12 to 15-hour days. Um, a lot of the times I wouldn't get a break in between. Um, a lot of those hours went uncounted and went, went out paid for so they could equal up to like thousands of dollars. And It was more so about money and that was... Um, disheartening. Delany Smith says she started working at Uncle Sam's with promises of fair compensation and opportunities for growth, but instead received partial paychecks, unpaid hours, and was forced into what she felt were unethical business practices. Yeah, I thought that there would be a chance of it being a positive experience, not only for myself, but for the customers, but it ended up being a whole facade where we're essentially meant to lie to customers um, on a daily basis. Her partner, Roland Clays, who is Métis, worked as a manager and says the company regularly struggled to pay staff. The turnover rate gets boosted through the roof at times like that, point blank, is what you see, because everyone comes in really excited and happy about things, and then in a couple weeks, it's like, okay, wait, like, what are we actually doing here? He claims he was terminated without cause after the Christmas rush after working more than 150 hours covering shifts, leaving him with questions and out thousands of wages for weeks. There was never a complaint anywhere along the way, um, and then suddenly I'm not paid for the final month of my work. Um, I, I didn't even know how to, how to feel about that. That was just a, a lot of money and left me in a really rough state financially heading into the new year. City News extensively reviewed numerous records of correspondence between the employees and Giesbrecht to verify their claims, including text messages, emails, and bank records. City News contacted Giesbrecht with the allegations, and while he initially agreed to an interview, he later backed out and sent a statement along instead. Uncle Sam's Cannabis takes employee grievances very seriously. We work openly with Employment Standards Manitoba to ensure our actions when managing an employee grievance, our employee dismissal are handled in accordance with Manitoba labour law. The Liquor, Gaming and Cannabis Authority of Manitoba notes that Uncle Sam has never been issued a compliance order or warning. In a statement, the original founder of the Uncle Sam's cannabis brand in Wassam El Anon says that he's just heard of the concerns involving the employees. He says while he's not involved to the day-to-day -day operations of the Manitoba Uncle Sam's, he's planning to look into the matter personally. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.